Hello everybody, Lord Almighty here. Today is Saturday, November 21st, 2015, and I am here at the north branch of the Raritan River in Somerset County, New Jersey, in search of some trout. We have pretty favorable conditions here today. Of course, with the time of year, the water temperature is ideal. And we had a pretty heavy rain a couple days ago, so the water is a little bit high and a little bit off color, which means the trout aren't going to be able to see me as well. And in the past, that has often meant some very aggressive strikes from these fish. So I'm hoping that that is going to be the case here today. There's a fish. Hit it right under them tree branches. And this is not a trout, but a smallmouth. Nope, this is a smallmouth bass. Oh, look at that. Oh, very nice. Oh, that's bass this morning? Uh, I was actually hoping for trout, but I'll take this too. <laughs> nice. Alright, back he goes. There's a fish. He's a jumper. I don't know what it is yet. That's a smallie. Decent one too. Well, decent for this stretch of river anyway. switch to a bigger spinner to get down deeper into this deeper hole and sure enough he was right near the bottom when he hit it not bad there we go Another small mouth. Little guy. Hook just fell right out. They're hitting it real light today. I can see the the lure is like on the the very outside of their mouths. Probably has something to do with the water being so cold. Another one. Might be a little school of them out there. Another one right on the very outside of his mouth. Not big, but any fish you can catch is a good fish, I always say. There's another one. There's absolutely a school out there. We're in them now. Nice collars on that one. Beautiful river smallmouth. There's a fish. Another hard pulling river smallmouth. Oh, 
Boy, these things fight hard. I love these things. I could fish for these every single day. In fact, I wish I could. Would be awful nice if I always had time to go fishing every single day. But hey, retirement's only 32 years away. So I'm halfway there. There's another one. Oh, right on the tip of the mouth. Look at that. Barely, barely hooked. Well, I haven't given up on catching trout, but judging from the way things are going, today is definitely going to be a smallmouth day. So forget what I said in the opening. This is now officially a smallmouth bass video. There we go. That's a dink. That's a little tiny guy. Look at him. His eyes are bigger than his stomach. That's the future right there. There we go. Another small one. goes. Hopefully next time I see him he'll be a couple pounds heavier. There we go. Oh, he's off. Alright, this pool here is pretty much stacked up with smallmouth and I think I figured out why. There's a stone wall that runs along the bank all the way down the side of this pool here. And the sun coming from this direction is hitting right on those rocks for the stone wall. It's warming up the rocks and it's radiating the heat out into the water. I'm willing to bet that the water right along the stone wall is a few degrees warmer than the rest of the river. And of course fish being cold blooded, well they're going to go to where the warm water is. So this is where the warm water is, this is where the fish are. Makes perfect sense doesn't it? There's one. I love it when a plan comes together. Wasn't the plan I had when I showed up here, but if it leads to fish, plan is a plan. There we go. Right along the wall. like the wall, huh? A nice warm wall for you. You like that spinner too. You don't like it so much anymore. There we go. Another small one. That's okay. This hole is just so loaded with smallies. When I got to the end, I just came all the way back up to the front of the hole. And I'm just going to work my way back down again. Seems to be paying off in the early going. Golden rule of fishing. Well, one of the golden rules. Don't leave fish to find fish. There we go. a little bit of brush that's sticking in the water right there. He was sitting right on the end of that. I 
another small but game river smallmouth. There's another one. Barely hooked. There we go. Back he goes. There we go. That one feels a little better. He's not too big, but he'll do. Another one got him on the very, very outside of the mouth. There's another one. Oh, it's a large mouth. Huh. Nice little bonus. Hit it the same way as those little small mouths have been doing it. Gotten all my smallies on this little uh, little inline spinner today. This is a uh, this is a Panther Martin number four. Um, haven't really been doing anything special. Just casting it out, letting it sink for a couple seconds, and retrieving it pretty slowly and steadily close to the bottom. And that's the way these fish have wanted it today. Well, that's one way to cross this stream, I guess. <laughs> that horse can't be having too much fun. It's like 50 degrees, that water. There we go. Another smallie just hugging that wall. Oh, there he goes. He was in a hurry. There we go. Ah, uh, I think these things are getting smaller. That's what we call bait. And I know there are other smallmouths in this stream. They'll eat a fish that size. There we go. I know they're small, but when you're bailing them like this on ultralight tackle, it's just as fun as anything else. I don't know a fisherman in their right mind who wouldn't enjoy doing what I'm doing today. <laughs> he hit it right on my feet. Another little dinky fish. Wow. Really robbing the cradle on this one. There we go. Back you go to grow up. There we go. Wow. This is a banner day, really. It's not often you can catch this many smallmouths in, you know, just a couple hours. I mean, like I said before, they're not big, but boy, are they a lot of fun. There's another notch in the belt right there.
There we go. Up it goes. It's a little bit better than the other ones, than a lot of the other ones I've been getting. The larger fish, it seems like they're they're kind of away from the wall. And the smaller ones are, are right up against it. I don't know exactly what that means. I guess it means I should be casting more out towards the middle instead of just hugging the wall the whole time. There we go. Hugging that wall, trying to get warm. Jeez. These fish have all been very energetic today, which is always a good sign. There we go. Boy, they just keep coming. It's like I'll catch three or four out of one spot, I'll walk away, and then I'll come back, and there's new fish in there. Amazing. There we go. Up you go. I mean, I know smallies school up in the fall, that's what they do, but God, this is just special. I don't think I've ever experienced this before. There we go. Well, that feels like a pretty nice fish. Ooh, that's a little bit better. Come on up here. Look at this chunky fish. Oh, there he goes. There we go. Nice chunky river smallmouth. Don't get much better than that. Boy, what a great day of smallmouth fishing. Sure caught a lot of smallmouths, and why not? Smallmouth fishing is what I wanted to do from the very beginning. I mean, my memory's not perfect, but I'm pretty sure that's what I said at the beginning of the show, right? All kidding aside, uh, today was a perfect example of what can happen when you adjust to conditions that are presented to you. I came here wanting to catch trout. Uh, trout weren't cooperating, didn't get a single trout. Um, but I found some smallmouths, I found where they were, uh, I found the pattern that they were on, and uh, I was able to have really a fantastic day. I, I lost count of the number of smallmouths I caught, and I actually got sick of catching them. I got sick of catching fish. Can you believe that? When was the last time that happened to you? But anyway, thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you on the next adventure.